In my last video, I said that I would hire lobbyists to be in my White House. And um, what I meant is that I would hire people from the industry. So do I know anything about finance? I mean, I do have my group one, so I do know a little bit about insurance, but I don't know anything about insurance. Um, but wait, but more than anything, I don't know anything about finance. And so um, I would want to hire someone like my cousin who has a master's degree in finance, probably. I think she has a master's degree in finance. She works for um, AIU, what is it, A AIG used to be the name. I don't even know. And um, she um, speaks French. She's very smart. And she, um, more than anything, she knows about finance. Because, like, do you want someone that's in charge of the United States economy that doesn't have um, someone that's worked in industry extensively? Of course not. I mean, the, the last thing you want to do is have me not having, like, a lot of lobbyists helping me. Um, so, very, 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 very much I would have um, people from specifically the tech industry working for me, people from the finance industry working for me, and people from the defense industry. Really? Defense industry too? Yeah. Um, part of um, having a strong military is understanding the technology from the mi military, or uh, understanding military technology. So um, does that mean that they're allowed to advise me on anything? Dude, you can, t you can tell me whatever you want, but my, my opinion is pretty solid in in the direction of we're gonna cut consumption in half because uh, the consumption of oil in half in my first four years and um, at the end of my first four years if I can't launch this war because I can't I can't get congressional approval and then I can't, I lose my election then you guys are gonna have some trouble because I'm gonna have done everything possible to cut oil consumption in half the problem is I think a lot of judges are going to stand in the way. So I don't know how I'm going to actually do that. Um, Cause they're all going to be like, this isn't national security. Saving our oil isn't national security. And I'll tell them it is national security. Um, redu reducing oil consumption is a matter of national security. All right. So um, if I am getting advised by the military, um, are all those conversations going to be confidential? Yeah. So everyone's opinions that are in that they're in the room um, on everything we should do. Like, I believe in psychological safety, so uh, my, my conversations with my advisors are going to be completely private. Am I going to go um, get mad and, um, after I have a conversation with Kudlow, which he's not going to be my advisor, but um, after Kudlow and I disagree about finance and then I'm like, I go, I go, I go on the internet, Kudlow's an asshole, <laughs> he pissed me off. No, that's not going to happen. I, I feel like I'm going to actually cut back on how many videos I make on the internet. All right, so, um, but more than anything... Um, all, all military specifically, specifically all military conversations are going to be confidential. Like we're going to, we're all going to have psychological safety because you guys are going to give me a break because I want to be able to say stupid stuff and you want to be able to say stuff that pisses me off. And so we're all going to keep it a secret. Is it actually going to work? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure you guys are all going to go talk to Bob Woodward and cry every, every, every time we have a conversation. John Alexander wants to fight a war with everyone, and he's stupid, and no one likes him. That's what they're all going to say if I even get elected. But who knows? Who knows? They might decide that you want to be friends with the monster because the monster's technology is that more advanced. And let's face it, um, if you're in the United States, you're a lucky person. You are. And um, one of my stances is that if you're in the United States, you're a lucky person. Um, we can all sit around and talk about talking points and the middle class are getting crushed in this country here and i'm very good well you know I'm, I'm down with these coal industry people we are like i i want to destroy your industry i will get you a job doing like some some man work uh will i get will i be joe biden yeah i'm gonna teach you how to program of course not why because i'm a programmer and i think that i'm not good enough program program i'm not a good enough programmer to really contribute because as technology progresses, can computers code for you? Yeah. Can c computers code better than you? Yeah. Um, so like, the fact of the matter is, like, if you think that code is always going to look like code, um, yeah, it, functional programming has already completely changed the way that coding works. But um, that, that's, so that's it. Um, lobbyists in my White House, of course. Um, are the lobbyists going to be loyal to the United States? and loyal to our future more than they're loyal to a company. 
that's that's the kind of lobbyist I want. 